The Cleveland Institute of Computational Biology was set up as a joint effort between Case Western Reserve University, University Hospitals, and the Cleveland Clinic to take advantage of biomedical big data to try to improve human health. My research focuses on looking at isolated populations and diverse populations, and one of the ways we're looking at the genetics there is to collect a lot of samples from a lot of different people. Ultimately, we will end up with approximately 30,000 whole genome sequences that we will be analyzing, particularly for the neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's disease. By having access to over 30,000 whole genome sequences along with the clinical and biological data that goes with that, we are able to leverage a lot of the computational and big data approaches to really do a lot more in terms of discovery of the genes and the variants that are important in these diseases. I've been working with various Indian populations for a long period of time, and the work that I'm doing there currently is a project on diabetic a retinopathy. We've been working in South India to try and use the local population there to be able to find genes for this diabetic complication. This research we hope to be able to identify larger gene set that cause the diseases that we're looking into. Now personally for the researchers for myself that allows me to kind of build my own personal research program and develop experience in human genetics which I lacked before coming to work with Dr. Iyengar. The great thing about our, our department specifically is that we are right on that edge of discovery and translation and we can then implement those findings in a clinical setting. It's been pretty exciting working with the team here at Cleveland. We are very eclectic. We study a wide range of diseases and disorders using lots of different methods. My primary research area is within the field of multiple sclerosis, and primarily we're focused on improving the phenotype for MS. So what are the factors that are influencing etiology as well as progression? And so a lot of it is aimed around understanding the causal mechanisms that contribute to these aspects of MS. My hope is that you know, the outcome of, of this research will include the identification of other genetic mechanisms that can help us make more specified drug targets or other ways to address holistically the therapy for multiple sclerosis patients. Because there are many comorbidities that patients have and it's important to think of all of those when you're treating a patient. I think one of the best parts about being a mentor to a doctoral student is seeing how they grow challenging them and how they respond and being very hands-on because I think it's important to how you shape the next generation of researchers. I am limited in the skill sets that I have already. I can acquire new knowledge, but my graduate student, Alina, she has the opportunity to really go further than where I have and take science in a new direction that I have yet to think of. It has been wonderful working with the Cleveland Institute for Computational Biology. It's been a powerhouse that has straddled two important departments. These departments are population and quantitative health sciences and genetics and genome sciences. I think the future of genetics research and genomics research is to expand the discoveries that we're seeing, not just in the, the historically studied populations, but also the underserved population. I think it's really important that everybody be able to benefit from the results that we get by looking in both not just the computational statistical analyses, but also when we move into the lab to try to identify treatments and hopefully preventions for some of these diseases. It really needs to be available to everybody. I chose to come to Case Western because I was really interested in getting two different things from the university I was studying at. I wanted to make sure I was going to be able to learn the skills I was interested in, and also was the community and culture at Case Western something I could see myself not only being a part of, but also actively engaging in, and Case Western uh, fully satisfied on both those counts. What I love most about Cleveland is how integrated the university is with the rest of the city. I can walk for 10 minutes in one direction and be right next to a famous museum or other university attraction, or visit a place like Westside Market. And so Westside Market is this market full of vendors, of bakers, of purveyors, of fine foods from all over the world, and it's just really exciting to be able to go someplace so close and have so many experiences and opportunities. Cleveland itself is a uh, just a fantastic place to raise a family. Lots of museums, lots of parks, uh, just a lot of good family-friendly things to do. My wife and I really like the idea that we could find a good school system and be able to send our daughters to school and we would be able to live and work within about a 10-minute drive. 
of everything. That was the determining factor for us moving to Cleveland, is how easy life would be here. There are great restaurants, things are opening all the time. There's microbreweries, and then there's Playhouse Square, which is one of my favorite places. It is the highest concentration of performance spaces outside of New York City within a square mile. And so I get to see all of the Broadway shows passing through, and there's just lots of activities to keep you engaged throughout the entire year. On campus, you have research going anywhere from cells to communities, but also both the culture around you in the city of Cleveland, as well as on campus, has been wonderful. We work because we've got great institutions that are all fairly close together. We've got a lot of brilliant minds and a lot of different institutions that collaborate and work together. The other aspect of Cleveland is that there's a lot of cultural activity and it's all really close to campus. So we can walk to places like Severance Hall, home of the Cleveland Orchestra, and be able to take advantage of both the cultural activities as well as the work activities. It's a great work-life balance.